I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I run over the fire cooking. Today I'm hanging out with Chris Carter from Porter Road Butcher. He is a local Nashville butcher that supplies meat to not only Nashville, but nationally. Chris and I share a lot of similar interests. We both love to cook over fire and we're both interested in culinary and food and all that stuff. We both love whiskey. Uh, we both love being in the outdoors. My name is Chris Carter. Uh, I'm co-owner and uh, co-founder of Porter Road. We founded the butcher shop actually as a uh, farmer's market stand at the East Nashville Farmer's Market for one summer before landing in our brick and mortar on Gallatin Road. This place means everything to us. It's become bigger and a, you know, a larger focus. It's about the people that work here and the customers that get their meat here. And Porter Road uh, is a staple piece of Nashville. Not only is Chris an awesome butcher, uh, he's a great businessman, but I mean, he's a chef. He's in the culinary world, he understands fire cooking, and he's super big supporter. Uh, of what I'm a part of. Chris, what's going on, man? Hey, dude. How you doing? Good. Uh, just about to cut up a lamb. Yeah. You want to give me a hand? Yeah, let's go. All right, cool. We're going to break down that lamb to get started. Uh, just kind of walk through. Show them where all these cuts come from. We'll have some knife cuts. We'll have some handsaw cuts, which you know I'll be uh, trusting Derek to trust me to hold that while we're hacking away on it. We'll use the bandsaw a little bit. We'll put it all back together. Show you where it comes from. Now, Chris, how big is this guy? This one's probably about 110. 110. Like Live weight. So we're probably looking at like 60, 70 pounds right now. practice a, a form of butchery called seam butchery, in which we actually follow each individual muscle, which yields more utility out of the animals, but also gives us some incredible cuts, like uh, the gambling stick cooks uh, pig skits, which is the pork brisket. You're not gonna find that anywhere. All right, separated that off. This will separate the shoulders on the bandsaw. There's a big educational side of what we do, um, informing customers of about what makes our product special and where they come from and you know the you know the life the animal had to live in order to get to where it is now and you know we handle that entire process like there's in our system it's farmer us and then consumer it changes your mentality of seeing this as I want to treat the animal with respect that it was deserved and is deserved and Chris and the team there at Porter Road really do a great job at, at displaying that every day We'll pack up here. We're gonna head over to my house, start a big fire. This is Derek's comfort zone. And then uh, he's got a seasoning for the lamb that I'm unsure of. Like, I don't know what it is. I'm sure it's good. Uh, but uh, from there, we'll hang it up and cook. How's it coming? Pretty good, man. Oh, you got the lamb? All right. I'm about to start the second fire. We can use this insulation. Yeah, let's go for it. Got to Chris's house. I was building the fire. He came over with the box. We unpacked the Porter Road meat. There was some insulation in there that we like to use uh, actually for fire starters. It's corn based product, uh, sustainable. We poured ourselves a glass of Buffalo Trace. We got a bone in, hanging lamb leg, took off the shank back at Porter Road, and we're gonna hook it and we're gonna hang it over the fire, let it cook for a couple of hours. Uh, we also had some fun little extras, so we're gonna have some lamb T-bones, uh, some ribs, a few other things. And then once we start getting towards the end, we're gonna have two vegetables. We're gonna have carrots that are gonna cook in the cast iron right underneath the hanging lamb. So to catch the drippings. And then we're gonna have broccolini. Uh, that's gonna be topped with some balsamic vinaigrette, pine nuts, a little bit of sea salt and lemon. Hanging meat is not new. It's just being rediscovered in some way. Hanging meat is great. It's an indirect way of cooking meat, so you're not putting it directly on the coals, but it's a way of cooking it over a long period of time and letting it letting it cook from the outside in uh, slowly over a period of time, creating a lot of love and flavor. Whenever I think of fire, I think of one 
thing. I, uh, my grandfather uh, taught me how to build a fire. And um, when I think of fire, I think of history. I think of people that mean a lot to me. I think fire is just something that it stays with you. It's that, it's that subtle piece that is in every part of something that's special. Um, and it ends up at the end being that cornerstone of a lot of stuff that brings people together. I think we're always looking for a moment to remember. And fire cooking is beautiful. Uh, whiskey is delicious. The food that you cook is awesome. Uh, but all in all, when you share those together with great people, it can't be beaten.